Email's been around for over 20 years, and it's the same now as it was then. But in the last six months, two major new apps have launched, and they've got a whole new way of dealing with email that will change the way that you see it. I'm Graham for Wireless Wave TV, and today we're putting Mailbox and MailPilot head to head to let you know which one comes out on top. When Mailbox launched, there was a lot of buzz and fanfare, but there was a little bit of bitterness too. While you could download and install the app, you couldn't get a Mailbox account without getting into a queue, and at one point, that line had over one million people in it. That time has passed, and now you can download it and get going right away. Mailbox gives you an account on their own server and passes all of your Gmail through it. Right now, the service is Gmail only, but the development team has said that they'll open up the service to other IMAP mail accounts soon. The app itself is incredibly cool. The whole idea revolves around getting to inbox zero. When a message comes in, you can tap it to read it. When you're done, you can swipe to the right to archive it, or long swipe to delete it. But what if you don't want to deal with that email right now? Well, you can swipe to the left. A short swipe brings up a grid of times when you can get mailbox to remind you about that message. Well, a long swipe will let you add that message to a to-do list, so you can come back to it at any time. By using these features, you can get to inbox zero and stay there, if you're using Gmail. The reliance on Gmail and having to send your mail through Mailbox's server makes this app a little less cool than it could be. Now on the flip side, we've got MailPilot. This is an app that started life as a Kickstarter with the same idea as Mailbox, to get to inbox zero. Now the cool thing about MailPilot is that it works with any IMAP email service. That means Gmail, iCloud, Yahoo, and a whole lot more. The other great feature is that MailPilot does it all without the need to send your email off to someone else to manage its extra features. If security means a lot to you, this is a big deal. MailPilot has a feature set just like Mailbox. You can schedule a reminder to deal with your email, you can file it away quickly, and you can add it to a list. The swiping is just left to right here, as other features are a quick click on a drop-down menu. It's a little quicker to clear messages in MailPilot, as there's a big checkbox to hit instead of a swipe, but the downside is that sometimes you can complete a message when you didn't mean to. The catch with MailPilot is that it's $15 to buy, and I'll be honest here, I like the look of Mailbox a little bit more. MailPilot is also a little harder to set up. When I set up my iCloud account, it asked me some questions that might be a bit confusing for some users. It's not a deal breaker, but it's not the simple setup that you'll find in Mailbox. The fact that MailPilot does work with more than just Gmail does make it a big winner in my mind. So that's how it breaks down. If free is your price point and you only use Gmail, chances are that Mailbox will suit your needs. If you're like me and you use a few different email accounts, the $15 is well spent on MailPilot. Either way, getting to Inbox Zero is well worth the time and money that you'll spend on these apps to help make your life more efficient. So thanks for joining us for this Head to Head. This is Wireless Wave TV. We'll see you next time.